Hi, we're Malta, we're doing another oilograph. And as I said in the other video, the tray despises these, they are considered rubbish. Nothing more than a poster. But things are changing, and I bought this, this, this thing, it's lovely. You've got a French, I think it's French, a French print oilograph. This very blatant Sacred Heart, Sacred Coeur is a French thing you see in France quite a lot. So you have a clue. And I know that these oilographs often came from France. And they printed them and they distribute them. And it would Malta. Someone would have bought a pile of them and brought them over and would have framed them here. These frames are really nice frames. This is a 1900, 1910 frame. It's water gilded, gold leaf, real gold leaf. Burnished areas, dull areas. I actually bought this for the frame. I know if I put a mirror in that, it's going, to fun, it's going to be fantastic. I know if I need a frame for a picture, that's the type you need to buy because you can cut mitres down. There's no mouldings, so you, 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 if you've got mouldings in the corner, you can't reduce it. This is a really useful thing for a trader. Right, so I bought it, but it's such a nice one. I think I'm going to actually leave it. I'll show you the back. Canvas. Old frame, 1900, 1910. Beautiful hooks. To the untrained eye, that looks like a real picture. Or a real painting, I should say. It's a picture, obviously. Right, so what are we going to do? I'm going to leave it. Why do I want to leave it? Got very good colours, turquoises. This is a sort of Renaissance -y scene. There's a, there's, a, there's a Mary, the Virgin, the Madonna. This is the sort of scene you see in the back of the Mona Lisa. You know, water and trees and hills. It's not the same thing, obviously, but it's that sort of thing. This is an Italian style picture painted in the French manner. So you can imagine someone painting this in 1450, 1500. And then the Victor a Victorian painter in France has said, oh, let's, let's make an oleograph. So they painted an original from which to take the image to the printing. This is a slightly later face, uh, slightly more vivid colours. This isn't, isn't an early form of Sacred Heart. This is a late form of Sacred Heart. Latin, I don't know what it says. Coelorum Regina Laus Decus e Gloria. Don't know. I did Latin at school. I can't remember what it means. I think it means something like Queen, Holy and Glorious. Maybe it says celebrate. Worship our, our worship our queen. Maybe it means that um, Renaissance style tunic, jewel, very nice, copy. very nicely portrayed hands. Really nice things. But you've got this early, early sort of colour. You can't go and buy a turquoise oil painting in London in a sale room. You know, Canada has a as a as a as a, as a chalky blue. This is a turquoise, turquoise greeny blue. Some of the very early. Paintings, yes, they did use it, but you know, you, you can't buy them unless you're an institution or a rich, very rich person. Decoratively, it's a nice thing, it's not too big, it's not spooky, it's not showing cruelty. This one, some do. This one's relatively moderate in, in tone. In the right place, that's going to look great. If you can just get past this thing about it being an oleograph, most antique students hate them, they really do. Most collectors hate them. It's changing slowly. It's never going to be an old painting, it's never going to be an old master, but I, I really like them and uh, I think it's a really appealing thing, not a lot of money. And there are some, there are many oilographs, some of them are not very nice, some of the frames are very, very poor. You get the gesso ones, the moulded mold, the ones, the tacky looking ones. This is a really nice frame, it's classic, smart, religious representation. Okay, I think I've said enough, thank you very much for looking.